The next time you are at your local dollar store, pick up some wire garden hanging baskets. Start this project by removing the hook and chains from the baskets. Turn one wire basket upside down and place on top of a second basket. Secure together by using three zip ties that are placed equidistant from each other. Now take a string of LED lights and fill the battery box with batteries. Remote control LED lights are best for this project, but it will work without the remote style as well. Hang the battery box inside the basket globe and connect to the top. Turn the lights on and wrap the lights evenly around the globe, both vertically and horizontally. Secure the end of the light string to the basket using a twist tie. Using a leafy garland of your choice, like this eucalyptus garland, cut off the various leaves at their base. Using a garland is much more cost effective for this project than using lots of different separate picks because you can get lots of different leaves in shorter lengths. Start to tuck and glue the different leaves to the wire basket globe. You don't need to cover the globe entirely. In fact, keep the placement of the leaves just a little sparse so the LED lights can shine through. Now, remember all those chains and hooks that you removed from the baskets? Let's put them to good use. Using a screwdriver or scissors, wedge it into the bottom of the hook and loosen so the chains can be removed from the hook. Reconfigure the chains by connecting three chains to create one long chain, two chains to create one medium chain, and leave one chain as is. Reconnect these chains of different lengths to the hooks and tighten the hook back together using some pliers. You can hang these from any ceiling hook or even a tree branch. If you have a porch swing, here is a fun way to hang the globes without drilling additional holes into your porch ceiling. Thread the stick through your porch swing ceiling hooks to create a horizontal rod and hang your garden globes from the branch. Use your remote to turn the lights on and enjoy the warm glow of your new outdoor lighting. I hope this inspired you to create beautiful outdoor garden globe lighting from inexpensive dollar store hanging baskets. I found an unused hula hoop in the toy chest. So I picked up a few more and today we're gonna put this hula hoop together. This one happened to come in six pieces and I had to have some extra handy hands here because this is really hard to put together. So, <laughs> okay, now we've got two hula hoops and we're going to put them together just like this. Okay, now we're gonna wire it. So I've taken this paddle wire and I'm going to secure it as tight as I can at the top. Okay, now I'm just going to leave this end sticking up. And then I'm going to come around and then go around the other side. And you want to pull really snug when you do this. And we're going to come back around with that tail and we're going to secure it. And just tuck your little end in just like that. Now we're going to turn it over and do the exact same thing to the bottom. So the beauty of these hula hoops is that they come apart. So on the third one, I undo it so that the one end is on the top, is on the outside, and the bottom is on the inside. So then I'm going to push this together. And then I'm going to secure it with a wire. Okay, now that our orb is together, we're now going to spray paint it. I'm using this Color Shot uh, black matte paint, and we're going to spray the entire thing. I like this paint because it has really good coverage. You can see how well that's covering. So you're going to have to do part of it and then let it dry and then come back and do the rest. Now our orb is painted and I'm going to add some fairy lights. So I bought these fairy lights at Michael's and what I love about these is that there's greenery on the wire. 
I bought one strand of lights for each hula hoop. So I bought three of these. And I've tied them onto a knot here. And then I'm simply going to wrap them around the hula hoop and turn it as you go. These, each of these strands are 10 feet long. I had this all in one piece, but it wants to spring apart. So I'm just gonna let it be. And then I'm gonna keep going until I've gone all the way around now I'm going to attach the second strand of fairy light so you can see that I just kind of tied that right there. Then I let that go. I'm going to try to keep this one together if I can this time. And I'm just going to wrap around again. Okay, so now it's time to place my orb. I've decided I'm going to put it in this empty bird bath that the only thing I can grow is ivy. So I have put the three controllers for the lights in a flower pot. And you're going to see, I'm just going to place this right in the middle, just like that. Now, I know I don't want to look at those controllers, so I've got this sweet little bird's nest, and I'm just going to place it on top so that you don't see the controllers. And I have a variety of bowls. Um, I have some four inch bowls and some six inch round. Um, I mean, they do have a flat bottom, but glass bubble bowls. Now you want to make sure that your glass bowls are very clean and um, in addition to washing them I'm going to take them and put a little um, alcohol on a cotton ball and wipe them down really well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it from the edge and I'm going to take a gray Crayola crayon and I am going to draw right on my bowl some lines and I'm just gonna go and draw a curved line all the way around. This is not exact, doesn't have to be exact. And when you've gone all the way around your bowl with these vertical lines, the next thing you're gonna do to start making some horizontal ones. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is do them at an angle down at cross. You don't want to forget the bottom. So when you've done all the sides, you're gonna go down here on the bottom and you're gonna mark it up also. So now your jar should be looking something like this and you can see the um, crayon um, marks all over your jar. The next step is you want to take some silver glitter glue and I put a um, pretty big blob of it out here on this um, paper plate and now what I'm going to do is put a lot on a small paintbrush and I'm going to paint my jar with the glitter glue in a crosshatch pattern. When it's dry you're going to have a bowl that looks like this. It's kind of got that crackled glass finish. I'm going to be using these out of doors, so you definitely have to use some kind of a sealer. And I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear. You want to make sure you're using something that's clear and that will not yellow your bowl. Um, and then I will turn it over and do the underside. The next thing I'm going to do is take... Um, some fairy lights and put them right down inside of my jar and then I'm going to take it and put it in my garden. Isn't that pretty? So I am going to get these all dried, sealed, so that they, um, the water, rain outside won't bother them and then I'm going to add them to my garden and I'll, sh uh, for me, I'm going to 
I don't have much of a garden right now. I have some pots, so I am going to add them to the pots on my porch by my door. Make some of these glowing garden orbs for yourself and enjoy them all summer long. They'll bring magic to your garden or even just to the pots of flowers that you have by your front door, like I have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Home Talk.